Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing out there? Hello, everybody. Who we got in the house? I see Ivan the Amazing. Hey, Lisa Nash. Laurie Thompson pouring with Grace Queen Leandra's in the house. Y'all throw some flames in the chat for the coldest moderator on this side of heaven. All right, y'all throw some flames and hearts in the chat for my Louise one time, one time. Thank you so much, Louise. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you. You allow me to do what I do, okay? Effectively on this live stream. So thank you. Hey, Jim, I see you, Bernard. Hello, hello. All right, who else? We got Konita J. I'm praying for you, sis. I saw your comment here. Um, praying that you feel better soon, okay? All right, y'all, let's see. Y'all need somebody to stay on that like button, okay? Uh, Marilyn, hello, Marilyn. Isn't she lovely? Thank you, sis. Thank you so much for that. Y'all see what she doing? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Stay on that like button. Thank you, sis. Thank you, um, Elisa. I see you in the house. Thank you so much. All right, all right, y'all. Look, Goldie, we got VIP in the house. We got VIP in the house. Y'all don't forget on June 9th, we are holding a group coaching session via G uh, Zoom for my VIP. Yes, indeed. I want to know what you want to know, what you want to know, what you want to know. Come in and ask your coach. Okay. Thank you so, so much. All right. All right. Andrea Davis. Thank you. Um, let's see who else we got in the house. I see you, Janet Winans. Okay. Got you in the house. Thank you. Hello, Ivan. Let's see who else we got down here. We got Miss Shirley Gonzalez. I saw Angela Cheney come up in the house. Thank you so much, Louise. You are amazing. Thank you for putting this in the chat. I think I posted, I uh, pinned it already. I see you, Teresa Blue, uh, Gina Brader. Okay, Patrick Martin, Christina Lee. Hello, everyone. Facebook, I need y'all to like and share. I need you all to like and share for me. Patricia Wilson, I see you. Hey, Callie girl, thank you so much. Lanice Lewis, Carol M, L-O-G. Y'all, we got a hot one tonight. Oh my goodness. Hey, Joanne, thank you so much. Thank you, Joanne. I appreciate you. Margot, we don't usually uh, join on. Hey, Shavella, there she is. There's the angel. She's in the house. We don't usually uh, join on this live stream. So I, my apologies, but just, before, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you. Thank you so much. Hey, Jim, Angela, Joanne, thank you so much for that. Angela Cheney is off up in here. I see you, sis. Thank you so much. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, share this thing. Thank you for showing love to our moderator. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hey, Shine. Shy's in the house. Thank you. Uh, is it Avis? Naomi. Hey, Angel and Vivian. Thank you so much. Hey, Sharon. Sharon is in the house. Okay, Taylor Fox. Kings and Queens coaching group is off up in here. Hello. Thank you so much. Hey, Tony. Tony's in the house. Hey, Aaron. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button as you're coming in. Hey, Cluster B. She's in the house. Y'all check her out. She's on YouTube and on Clubhouse. Go by and check out her information. If you like it, subscribe, okay? Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Hey, Dura. Hey, Jamie. Joanne, thank you so much. Hey, Trin Trin. I see you in the house. Thank you. All right. Let's see. We got Decal. All right. Zelda. Laquandra. I see you in the house. Thank you so, so much. I see y'all coming in. Candy Pryor, I see you. Thank you. Hey, uh, is it Anika? Is it Anika? I, I hope I didn't mess it up. Hey, highly favored. We got another VIP in the house. Thank you so much. Hey, Anisha. Linda Bass is off up in here. Thank you. Blue, is it Blue Skies with, uh, with a smile? Thank you. Hey, Jacqueline Smith. 
Uh, let's see. Joy is in the house. Hey, Joe. Joe's in here. Miss Ladybug, Francia, Stacy, and Cole. Camilla, Val. All right, y'all. I see y'all coming in. Phyllis Saunders, Jazz Lynn, Faye Bennett, C.S., Mace Tucker, Grade A Narc, Shammer. Okay. Queen Shani is in the house. Hey, Carla Ray. Camilla Jordan, Stacy Cole. Okay, I think I'm getting right back. I think I've caught, I, I think I'm catching up. Decal. All right, we got you. Hey, Joe, I see you in the house. Thank you so much. Joe is in here. We have uh, Pat, potential, ambition, talented. Oh, I like that. Hey, Ruth Coney. Uh, the Blackberry Rose. All right. Uh, moving forward is in the house. All right, hey, Tina. That's Tina Blackberry. Hey, Joe. Okay, let's see if I missed anybody. Is it uh, for y'all? Okay, the truth. I see you. Thank you. Hey, Chrissy Lovely. All right, y'all. We getting there. We moving. We moving. Take hey, okay. Felicia Ellington. Moving forward. Okay. All right. Hey, Lolita. Colby, I see you. Thank you so much. Shavella, thank you so much. Hey, Somalia Roberts, Mandy Lynn, Ronisha, Jessica. All right, Ben, Jasmine, Carla McMillan, Glenda, Victoria. All right, Angel, Sheila Jones, Vivian. Hello, Angel Robinson. Okay. Jenna. Drayson. Okay. Is it Tonique? Thank you so much. We got our brother Tim is in the house. Oh, Tim, you're going to have us up in here busting up today. Tim, thank you so much. He says, hey, Queen T and Precious Family, I'm ready to uh, hit them narcissists with more combos <laughs> than an Italian beef stand. All right. Okay. Love you all. Stay strong. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Okay, y'all. We are seven minutes past the hour. Hey, Cleo. Um, Joanne. Let's see. Joanne. Okay, I got you. Ruby Kelly. Okay. Y'all continue to hit that like button for me. Thank you so much. Let me go back down. Okay. Let me make sure Facebook has everything. Hold on y'all. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Hey, V Harrison, Ronita Brown. Okay. I see you in the house. 2 a.m. there. Um, do Rod, thank you so much, Tim. She says 2 a.m. here. Sorry if I can't be here watching tomorrow. Forgive me. That's okay, sis. Go to sleep if you need to. I mean, it's, it's late over there. She's in Europe, I think, y'all. Hey, Purple Crown. Purple Crown is in the house. Hello. Hello, family. All right. Hello. Is it uh C is it C Toth? Okay. Thank you so, so much. All right. All right. Let's get ready to get started. Yep. Kobe, trisexual. Y'all, we getting ready to jump into this thing. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Sarah. Sarah Wallace is in the house. Hey, Kenya. Facebook, thank you for sharing. Y'all are making my heart glad. Let me see what we're doing on YouTube. Let me see where we where our likes are. Uh, on YouTube. We're at 119. Okay. So y'all keep hitting the like button as you come in. Paul Juice, Lisa Nash, L Boogie. Okay. All right. Y'all coming in. Hey, Shantara. Okay. All right, y'all. So whenever I have a message like this that I have to deliver, I'm always asking why, 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 why? You know, because I love to get into some deep relevatory teaching. But what I'm finding out, hey, Joanne, VIP in the house. Thank you so much. I see you, April and Feathers. Thank you all so much. Let me say something, too. I want to say something, uh, just a little housekeeping. I get, um, I want you all to understand something as the channel um, grows, you know, 
it gets uh, increasingly more difficult to just get to every email. Okay. It does. And so I want you all to know, I'm trying to devise a system. Um, and I think with Microsoft, you can have, uh, it does a thing where when you get the email, it's, uh, it tells you that the email has been received. So I don't want you all to think that I'm ignoring you, but I get, if you could see my email box, sometimes y'all be like, I just feel, really feel bad for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to draw anybody's sympathy. I just want you to know if I don't get back to you. Now, my coaching box is a different thing because coaching ha is handled by a different process, right? But if you're just sending me questions or, you know, if, because y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, some people will, send an email that's like two pages long and they have like 20 different questions in the email. That's not an email. That's a coaching session. Okay. And so they, you know, some people get upset because you don't, you're not able to respond, but it's like, there's so, so many other moving components to my life. I have an Instagram platform that I have to manage, Facebook, and y'all should see the inboxes in those. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of, in from, you know, it's a lot of communications. So it's really not enough hours in the day. And some of you, I've been able to reply to you in the past. And as, as the channel continue to grow, the, the email communications grow as well. And I try to get to as much as I can, but y'all charge it to my head and not to my heart if I'm not able to get to you or get right back to you, okay? It's not that I'm intentionally doing it, but I just can't have idle conversation or going back and forth because some people, you'll email them and you'll answer the question, then they email you back. And then if you don't get back to it, then, you know, people get upset and I don't want that. So I want you all to understand if I don't get back to you, I'm trying to get a system where you at least know I received it, okay? Hey, Sakina. So I just want you all to know that I love you all so much. And I wish I could just, I, I wish I could just respond to everybody, but it's just not humanly possible. And, and I'm not complaining about it. Please believe that it is a pleasure and an honor to serve each and every one of you. But I have to be honest. Amen. I got to be honest and I got to let you know, if I don't get back to you with your question or what have you, then it's, it's simply because it's probably 25 more emails piled on top of yours. If you could see what I get in a day right now, I'm looking at 114 emails. <laughs> so and that's not and that's not including i don't think that's including coaching requests so you know it's um it's it's a little hard okay it's a little hard so i just wanted to make sure i put that out there housekeeping rules all right y'all so we're talking tonight about uh beware of the narcissist's sexual appetite y'all there's a lot going on in the whole sexual world you understand what I'm saying with all of these different pronouns, prefixes, and all of these different things that people want to be called. And, you know, Fifi, you don't want to be uh, disrespectful to uh, people and call them something that they're not. But let me tell you something. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much, sis. I appreciate you. But there is no way that I'm going to invite myself into that type of uh, confusion and chaos. And I don't want anyone to invite me into it. But today, the reason this message is coming is because there is a deeper thing behind this. Okay. And the deeper thing that is behind, thank you, J Rob for the stars. God bless you, my brother. Thank you so much for that. And the deeper message behind it is this, is that there is a war going on for souls. So the narcissist is playing a big role in this because these clowns are trisexual. All right. They are trisexual. I said it and I said it a long time ago. And y'all know that I keep it 100. I said this a long, long time ago. I said these clowns will try anything. Uh, I-H-E-G music. Come on. They will try anything. So. This is what you need to look out for. And what the Lord was sharing with me is that the common goal in society is for everyone. Watch this. And this is why this message is coming. It's for people to be comfortable with other people being gender fluid. Okay. And it's supposed to, 
watch this, is supposed to remove, this is what God was sharing with me, is what they want to do, what they want to do is remove the stigma of the, what we call, or what is called sometimes in society as the, uh, the stigma or the title of gay. Some people call it a stigma. Some people call it a title gay, you know, lesbian, whatever. They want to remove that. OK, so they don't want that to be a title. They don't want that to be a stigma. So what they're doing, watch this. And this is the way that the Lord showed it to me. He said what they're doing is they're introducing all of these different pronouns. So this will wear the people out. OK, this is going to wear the oh, this one is trans. This one is pan. This one is tried. This one is by this one is prefer this. So what they want to do is just wipe out all the titles and say, at some particular point that people are just fluid. This is what God was showing me. I said, wow, that is crazy. And he was showing me, he says, so by doing all of these different titles and things, what it does is it creates confusion. So what does humanity want to do? They want to get rid of the confusion. Let's wipe out all the confusion. Let's just make it one big thing and let's make it okay for everybody to want to be this way. Okay. Everybody. And narcissists are a huge piece of that because narcissists will go either way. I said it. I said it. I did. Male and female. Male and female will go either way. Okay. We'll go either way. A lot of you noticed how many of you, let me go ahead and start right here. How many of you in the chat by show of ones, the one you, you ladies out there that was dating a male narcissist, how many of you were uh, suspected, you, you suspected that he had some female tendencies and I'm going to show y'all how it goes down. I'm, I'm, I'm going to shed some light on this for you. Put a one in the chat. You saw him having some female tendencies. He would talk about his best friend like that boy. That boy did this. That Let me see what this boy is doing. Let me see what that boy is doing. What, what y'all got to say about it, Facebook? Put a one in the chat if y'all saw somebody getting down. Y'all see all these ones in the chat? The male narcissist. Oh, yeah, that male narcissist. I'm going to show you what they do. I'm going to show you how to identify it. OK, I'm going to show you some of the mannerisms, some of the things that they do, because you need to be on guard. Why? I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you some revelation as to what's happening. I told y'all a long time ago. OK, we got all of these ones coming up in the chat. How many of you all remember when I did the live stream about Beyonce and I said to you all, I said, if you were struggling with your sexuality before this Renaissance tour, once you go into that ritual, okay, called a concert, you won't be struggling with it anymore. You're going to be all the way on the alternative lifestyle side. How many of you by show of twos in the chat remember me telling y'all that? And I'm going to tell you what I saw on Beyonce's concert. I told y'all before the before the tour started. I told y'all this months ago by show of twos in the chat. How many of y'all remember that? Okay, Elisa, I see you. Mm -hmm. Andrea, okay, y'all remember that? Isn't she lovely? Okay, pouring with grace. Y'all remember? Okay, so guess what? Y'all guess who's shot? Guess who's up there dancing with her? Guess who's dancing? She has a panel full of people living alternative lifestyles. Most of them are men. A lot of her backup dancers, that's what they are. How many of y'all had, but look, put your hand up in the chat if you've seen them back there dancing behind her. Raise your hand if you saw them back up, backing her up back there. I'm going to show y'all what's happening right here. Got some hands going up. If y'all seen her, have y'all seen any clips of her tour and y'all seen, put your hand in, put your hand up if y'all saw who was dancing behind her. Mm, okay, you saw Susan? Okay, L Boogie? Okay, Shantara? Okay, y'all see? 
So y'all see what I'm talking about. So the whole agenda is to turn society into what the enemy is because the bible says that it that when he arrives on the scene that his desire would not be for a woman okay narcissists play a huge role in that because they're able to carry several different demons at one time and they have no conscience about it yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's what's happening so narcissists are the foot soldiers then you got people like public figures like Beyonce that endorses that lifestyle. And that's her, that's totally her choice and her right. I'm not taking away that. But when you're talking about kingdom and when you're talking about the things of God and the church, the ecclesia itself, then you got to understand, watch this. You have to understand the agenda that is before the world, which is the battle for your souls in the heavenlies. That's why I wanted to tell y'all, this is why I did the live stream on the value of your soul. Because once you get involved with a narcissist, so many different gates open. And I'm going to talk to you about the sexual port. This is why the narcissist sexual appetite is the way that it is. Narcissistic men, watch this. Whatever y'all y'all remember, I did that uh, that video on the the back door of the uh, the uh, the import dock and the export dock, and I talked about the different different places. Or these was the dip these were the different anatomies. Thank you, J. Rob. God bless you for those hundred stars. <laughs> He's getting his blessing. Okay. Thank you so much, my brother. I talked about the import doc and the export doc. Narcissistic men love that export doc, ladies. They love it, okay? Let me tell you but what to look out for. They love that, okay? They want to always engage with you in the export doc. And y'all know what? I was sitting up there because narcissist number one, will always hit me with something like that. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is your problem? I said, why are you so fascinated with that? This is what you will see. Y'all, they are fascinated with your export doc, which is this right here. Y'all see where I'm pointing? Y'all see that? That back there? Oh, they fascinated with that because they don't, because they don't want you. They want their same kind. Okay? That's why. That's why. So they will and and they will they talk about and the and how you know they'll have a best friend. Watch this. They'll have a best friend that they are completely I mean they they just it's almost like they're joined at the hip. It's all you like, why are you so enamored with this person? Why is this person always coming up in our conversations? Why is this person always around? Because that's their, you know, that's their other, you know, that's the other part right there. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful what you say on these 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 uh videos here cuz I don't want to get us you know struck in the in the in the live stream, you know. Okay? So you got, so this is what you look for. They, they love that. They have feminine tendencies and they claim to be a whole hetero. That's what they claim to be, a whole hetero. But they're fascinated with your export doc because that's what they really want, okay? They want that more than your import. You mean tell me, I'm like, yo, I got all this good front right here. I said it. That's what I would tell them. I got all this good front. Why are you, why are you bothering me about that? And the answer is no. Why do we always have to fight about that? Why? Why? Because that's what they want. That's what they want. And so the thing is, is this. They want to get you. And what they do is when you start to tell them no. Now, this is how they set you up. Now, they pull you away from your spiritual grounding and everything else, right? This is the setup. They get you to watching um, pornography with them. And they, after a while, they'll leave you alone about the export doc, okay? They'll leave you alone about it. Y'all keep liking and sharing. Let me see where I like is. They'll leave you alone about it for a minute. Okay. Y'all, let me take a like break on YouTube. Y'all, 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 y'all making me nervous right here, YouTube. Y'all, I need y'all to hit that like button. Y'all making me nervous. 
Mm -mm. Don't do that to your girl. Come on, y'all. Hit that like button. Y'all y'all making me feel like y'all ain't going to support your girl on this one. Hit that like button. Y'all support your girl. Okay? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Let's get it up. Thank you, Facebook. Y'all liking and sharing. Facebook got me hot. Facebook coming in hot. 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 Uh, my YouTube is the T on MPD and relationships, J-Rob. The T on MPD and relationships. Same thing as my Facebook. And my Instagram is underscore the T on MPD. Y'all get it up, get it up, get it up. All right. Okay. Okay. I think we're there. Okay. So, so this is, so this is what they do. They'll, they'll leave you alone about it. All right. We getting there. Come on. Keep hitting the like button. So they will, uh, they will leave you alone about it for a little while and then they'll come back to it. But the whole mission goal, they, they want to administer things, bring in toys, bring in people into the bedroom, because what they're attempting to do is to just totally destroy your sexual morality. OK, that's what they want to do. They want to completely pull you out. Right. Pull you completely out of your morality into immorality. OK. And so what will happen is, and the way that they do this as well, narcissists are cold. Watch this revelation that God gave me. The way that they do this is this is why they keep your emotions so engaged in the relationship, because as they are trying to pull you further and further out into this immorality, guess what? They're able to do it because they are engaging your emotions and they go deeper into your, your emotional realm, which is access to your soul. So they, they are kind to you, then they pull back. They are kind to you, then they pull back. And watch this. So in those moments where they're pulling back, some of y'all got approached, well, you know, was we, you like, well, what's it, what is it going to take to just make you happy? What is it going to take to just make you just, okay, like, let this just be over already. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of doing all of this. I'm tired of doing all that. I want to just, I just don't, I want peace. And, and, and a lot of them told you this. Well, you know, I, I, I was telling you what I wanted and it's boring in the bedroom. It's boring and, and, and you won't even try it. I mean, I do things that you want to do and you don't even want to try it. Yeah. How many of y'all going to testify by show of ones in the chat that y'all had that situation come up? Let me go and put my one in there first. I'm telling y'all what it is. Narcissist number one had this bad. He had it so bad. His best friend moved out here in the area where we moved. When he, when he and I got engaged, his best friend moved out here in this area. Why? How did the best friend just pull up his everything and move completely to another area? Okay. So y'all see, I, I know the Holy Ghost is on it. I know he on it. I know. Pulled up and moved completely out here to this area. Why? Y'all that close? Like what is happening? What is happening that you so close to this individual that you got to move your whole house? Mind you, this dude lived in the house where his parents, the, the best friend did, left the parents' house, picked up, went and paid rent in a in a apartment to be out in the area where we were so he would be not near him. Don't that sound like, don't that sound strange to you? Don't that sound strange? But the goal of it is, the goal of it is, is that as the narcissist is pulling you out of your morality, because a lot of you were engaged in fornication with the narcissist, idolatry. I said it. Mm -hmm. Which left you open for demonic attack, left you completely open for it. Okay, completely open. So, so what was happening in that instance right? Is you were engaged in fornication. They were pulling you out of your sexual morality. They would administer pornography because pornography, what it does is it's another gate into your soul. I'm teaching y'all tonight. Oh, I want y'all to really get this. I want y'all to hit that smash that like button so hard. Facebook, y'all keep sharing and sharing. 
because I'm teaching this thing, Star K Edwards. Patrice, I'm teaching y'all some things. I want y'all to understand that this is a gateway that the enemy absolutely uses in order to initiate you into a, a whole demonic realm of sexual immorality and pull you completely out. Some of the narcissists solicited you and told you they wanted a threesome. And the threesome that they wanted wasn't with another woman. Some of them said they wanted another woman, but a lot of them said they wanted another man in there for you ladies. How can you have a situation going on like that? Watch this. You got two men in there and you don't think that something's wrong with, with, with the men. What? You mean y'all comfortable with that? Are we putting it all out here? We're putting it all out here because the enemy wants to, he wants to pervert your, pervert your natural affection to get you on the same agenda that he wants the world on, which is a whole perverted natural affection. Okay. How do we know this? Now I'm going to tell y'all something. Let me go ahead and drop some revelation here because I want y'all to understand something. Out of all of God's creation, I'm talking about every creation that he has, the humans are the, we are the most intelligent beings, yet the least ready for life. Why do you say that, Telsha? Why? Watch this. Because humans have to be taught empathy. They have to be taught how to care for their young. They have to be taught how to cook food and do things that they need to do for their families. But you don't see any of that going on out in the jungle, in the safari or the farms. You know why? Animals come with an innate instinct to care for their young, to protect their young, and to do all of that. But humans, we are the most intelligent beings on the planet, Yes, yet the least ready for life. Yes, because we got to be taught all of that stuff. You don't see another lion out there rubbing on another lion. Oh, ooh, this lion. Oh, man, that mare sure is nice there. Oh, boy, I'd like to rub that mare. <laughs> Big old lion paw laying on another lion. Boy, that lion will tear him up. What? Big old lion paw, big as my whole left side, laying on. You try it if you want to. That lion be done devoured his behind out there. What? That it don't work like that. Thank you so much, Louise. God bless you. Thank you for that super sticker, sis. This is how it works. Uh uh. Now you don't see no big old, big old uh, uh cat lion rubbing on another lion. No. That's not the way it goes. Yet, we say that God made a mistake when he created humanity. Oh, well, he gave me this gender. He made a mistake. No. And I'm going to tell you how he didn't make a mistake. Because guess what? The Bible says the heart of a man is deceitful and desperately wicked. So that means that you come here with a wicked heart. You come here with it. So guess what has to happen is a transformation by power of Holy Ghost. Come on. Thank you so much, Purple Crown. I got to teach this thing tonight because y'all got to understand that these narcissists are administering something to you in this sex that they want to have with you. They are administering what we call sexually transmitted demons. I said it. Bam. Now it is. Thank you so much, Purple Crown. God bless you. There it is. But he, but all of a sudden, God got confused and mixed up and messed up in the head when he went to go create you. He didn't know what he was doing. He was confused. But you don't see two male zebras out there humping on each other. You don't see two male lions out there. You don't see two male elephants getting it on. You don't see any of that. And I and, and believe me, I'm saying this because there's a purpose behind this conversation. There's a purpose behind the conversation. So you mean to tell me he was not confused all the time that he was making all of these animals out here. But when he got to humanity, he got real confused. The devil is a whole liar. 
and the author of every last one of them ever told. He is the father of lies. Okay, but narcissists are used as his foot soldiers to pull people like you and I, okay, to pull us out into that realm of immorality so much so that guess what? Your natural, your natural affection becomes perverted. And when it becomes perverted, what type of help do you have? You don't have no help because you all the way out there in the middle of that ocean, baby. It's going to be sink or swim. And guess what? It's no life raft around you because they done pulled you completely away from your spiritual grounding. Call me a lie. Call me a lie. So let me tell you, this is what you see in these, in these male narcissists. And the going thing right now with men, right now, okay? Because you this, this Western culture is very narcissistic. It's very narcissistic. And social media doesn't help the situation. It doesn't help the situation. So guess what? Now, because you have a lot of these men that are coming out that are undercover, they have girlfriends and they have a boyfriend. And the two don't ever know about each other. Most of these guys that are going out there participating in that, they are narcissistic individuals that hate women. Let me say it again. They are ladies. They are narcissistic uh, men that hate women and they're spreading HIV on purpose. I said it. Now, I said it. Syphilis, gonorrhea, they're giving it out like nothing. And they're taking drugs. Watch this. They're taking prep drugs to keep the ones that don't have the virus yet they're taking prep drugs to keep their to keep them from contracting the virus and those that have contracted they they've already contracted the virus from somebody else they're taking drugs to keep their levels undetected but they still got that package they still got it and if they decide to go off their medication and decide that they just want to go ahead and give it to a few people because they ticked off that they got it. And let's be clear, narcissists do it on purpose. That's why this message is coming. That pornography opens up the gate of murder. It does. What is, what is intentionally spreading HIV? Is that not considered attempted murder? I'm just saying just saying. Just saying. It's intentional. That is considered attempted murder, right? Remember that gate that they wanted? Remember that time they wanted you to watch that crazy movie with them, that pornography? Remember that? Remember that? Remember when they wanted you to, to wanted you to try what they was trying on, on the flick right there? Remember that? Pornography is a huge gate in the demonic, evil. Guess what? They do everything in a porn flick that the, that the, that the Bible said, that the Bible tells men and women not to do. Everything. Remember when, remember in, in the Bible story where, where the man pulled his, pulled out and spilled his seed on the ground because he didn't want to, he didn't want to uh, have children with his brother's wife. I believe that was, uh, was it Tamar? I think it was, it might've been. He didn't want to have children with his brother's wife. He pulled out and spilled his seed on the ground. That's what they always do in a porn flip. Let's, 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 let's be uh, one, 100% grownups here because it's meant to defy everything that God created sex for. So you get with this narcissist and that narcissist want to try anything. They want to try your import doc. They want to try your export doc. And some of y'all, uh, they want they want to they want to engage every orifice on your body. Some of y'all got in situations where y'all was literally being choked by an object that was being forced down your throat. Hello. Oh, I said it. You mean to tell me that you are just that desperate for some type of sensation that you want to literally choke somebody? 
with one of your body parts? Yes. Yeah. I said it. I said it. Mm -hmm. Because they're empty. They are empty individuals trying everything that they can to get something that makes them feel good. And in the and in the in the interim of all of that happening, you are literally being defiled. You're being defiled. It's not enough for them for you to be in that in in that that it, the way that God aligned your anatomy. Then they got such a fascination with the export doc; they want to do all kinds of things with it. And y'all know what that, and, and let me just say this, a lot of uh, the initiations and a lot of the demonic rituals that are done to, uh, to um, what they call initiate people into the Marine kingdom and also into satanic worship and demonic worship. A lot of these rituals are done through sex. This is why you see, and this is why you got to understand how serious this is. And when you're dealing with someone that is completely immoral, it's demonic, y'all, giant slayer. It's demonic. I'm going to tell you something. A narcissist is so perverted in the bedroom. Watch this. Y'all would have to, you, listen, they want you if they could push up, listen, you, they don't even want your legs to have joints in them. Just don't even have no joints. Just let the legs be rubber, able to put them around, <laughs> around behind the back. <laughs> your, your feet is so far back. Wait a minute. Your feet are so far back that them mugs is parallel to the wall behind you. Okay. Yo, I mean. This is what they want. Come on here. This is what they want. They want your feet parallel to the wall behind you. Matter of fact, can you do this? Can you make your feet, can you fold them legs back so far that the feet is done uh, folded back over and they parallel with the floor again behind? <laughs> they done bent over the, over the head. To the to the back and they, and they meet in the floor again. Yeah, can we get one of them types of situations going? Let's get one of them types of situations going. Your whole vertebrae is uh gonna need to be in traction after you get through because you know it's almost broken in the. <laughs> yes, this is what it is. Yes, I mean, you're going to need to be in a whole traction, a body cast when you get through with this clown because he looking for some type of fulfillment. Oh, I ain't got to the female yet, but we're going to get on the females too. Thank you so much, Tim. He said, my precious T and family, please know, please know this. I have missed you so much. Uh, dated a narcissist school teacher. She gave me a dear Tim letter, so I corrected it and put a uh, <laughs> put a red F on, on the top of it. <laughs> I told her she flunked out of my class. <laughs> you know what, Tim? You too much. Thank you so much for that super sticker, y'all. That's how narcissists want to be. They want you, and, and you tell them, well, you know, I tell you what, that that right there, that that's that session right there almost got me in the hospital. You know, you, is it like is it gonna be like that every time? And they said, Well, next time I want you to ball up in a ball and I want the export docker exposed so uh we can we can uh bend your vertebrae the other way the next time. Have your head completely wrapped between your I mean. Are you serious? This is what they want. This is it. Why? All because they are not fulfilled individuals. So they feel like them being able, and they're still not satisfied with that. The female narcissist. Oh boy. 
because society because society is so accepting and men are so accepting of a woman having a prior alternative lifestyle relationship, right? Okay. Female narcissists, they are just either way. Now, they're not going to tell you that, fellas, kings. They're not going to tell you that. But that female narcissist is going to have you in, let me tell you something, that female narcissist is going to rock your world, okay? She going to do some things to your body parts. And I know y'all getting ready to, uh, y'all going to testify in the comment section uh, to, to all of my men out here. Y'all keep liking and sharing the video, okay? That female narcissist is going to have you twinkle toes. Men, they going to have you twinkle toes around here. You gonna be you you I mean you gonna be so high after she get through with you you gonna think you a ballerina twinkling around. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, these females literally sit up and study a man a man's body because a female narcissist is a witch, a male narcissist is a warlock, and what y'all don't know is a lot of times what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh they're trying to basically take your mind through sex they have these men walk around here twinkle toes a female narcissist will cause a man to rethink his sexuality she wants him to do that she'll tell him that she wants certain things in the bedroom to make him think about venturing out to that i'm telling you what it is I'm telling you what it is because the whole agenda is to pull you out of morality into immorality. Yeah, the toes, Lori, twinkle toes. That's what they do. So when you are entertaining this type of nonsense, where whether it's the male or the female, the female takes the man and does all kinds of different things to the man. She gonna toss your salad and everything else. Oh, she gonna toss that salad. The male narcissist is gonna toss the salad too. And then you turn around and kiss him after that. Blech. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. And guess what? You don't even think nothing else. So you don't even think nothing about it. You don't think nothing about it because your morality is being stripped from you. Let me tell you what sex is. This is what the narcissist does. Watch this. This is the demonic agenda, right? Watch this right here. I told y'all before that sex is a anesthetic. Okay. Watch this. You've been through all types of emotional trauma. Some of you all have had sexual trauma as kids. Uh, some of you all have been through, I mean, just all types of dysfunctionality growing up that caused you to grow up with a frustrated, fragmented, faulty foundation. Okay. Yes, that part. So the pain that is reeling inside of that little child inside of you wants something to calm the pain, to soothe you. You get what I'm saying? To soothe you. So what you do, and and this is how the enemy does it, is he, that's why he keeps you so emotional. People that are unhealed are very emotional people, okay? Be careful. People that want to engage your emotion too quickly, these are unhealed people, and they want access to your soul. Don't let them have it. This is why it's important that you heal because emotions are a barometer that literally will measure your spiritual maturity. Because people that are emotional are, are usually spiritually immature. And the, the enemy is happy to possess and oppress your ignorance, okay? And your immaturity. He loves that, okay? But watch this. So sex becomes an anesthetic to soothe the pain. Because through these faulty, frustrated, fragmented foundations, most of all, most of us have, be, uh, have become codependent individuals. Let's be clear. Codependent individuals. So as you are codependent, you just want somebody there so you don't have to deal with the pain. 
So sex is used by the enemy to be an anesthetic to those that are engaging in fornication because the only reason you out there engaging in fornication is because you are trying to, you're attempting to medicate pain. I said it. I said it. And you rationalize it saying, well, at least they doing this for me. At least they buying gas for my car. At least they doing this. Or at least she cooking every now and then. And, and what she putting in your food. That's why you messed up in the head. You do, 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 do. Yeah. Ladies, same thing. You get into the at least syndrome. You know why you go into the at least syndrome? Because you think you are the least. So you accept the least because you feel like you are the least. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you begin to allow these codependent relationships, which are highly toxic, to be the anesthetic for the pain that you need God to deal with. Right? So the sex becomes the anesthetic to dull the pain. You feeling good about yourself. Oh, he told you, you just, you, oh, you popped it off in the bedroom last night. Oh, yo, you, you in traction and a body cast and everything else the next day, but he blowing your head up. Woo oh, you did. Oh, girl, you're so bad. Yeah, he doing all that. So you go deeper into it. You go deeper. You go deeper. Because you want that constant validation. And every time you lock up with this joker, they administer more poison in your soul through that avenue, through that, that gate of sex. More poison, more perversion is being administered into your soul. Every time you lock up with this joker, it's coming through. He pumping that thing through your veins. Like, like they said, they pumping it through your veins. They pumping it through your body into your soul. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You don't know what kind of demons you get in there. You don't know what kind of demons you have contracted through this, this demonic portal called a narcissist. They got you all the way out there. Your mind is out there spinning on Jupiter somewhere. You don't even know. All because the whole agenda is to make everybody forsake what is natural. What's natural? Because remember, the battle is for your soul. The battle is for your soul. Because if you die in that perversion and you never have a chance to repent, you ain't got to worry about staying warm nowhere. You ain't got to worry about no cold days in New York. You ain't got to worry about no snow-capped mountains because it's going to be hellfire all day and all night. Yeah, you're going to be warmed up in the worst kind of way. Yeah, that's the agenda. That's the agenda. So these narcissists, these male narcissists, look, that, look what Linda said. She said, listen, look, look what she said. Look at that. Sex was my drug. Mm -hmm. Told you. Why? Because it takes the pain away. Let me tell you something. Watch this. I'm going to tell y'all something. Do you know that you can be in excruciating pain? Do you know that you can be in excruciating pain? Let me tell my business. Let me tell my business. You can be in excruciating pain and you can, you can go and have sex, right? Do you know for that moment that you are in, I'm going to show y'all how powerful this is because I tried it myself years ago with that narcissist because you know they don't care nothing about you being in pain. They don't care nothing about that. They just want their needs met, okay? They don't, know, they don't care nothing about that. I was in excruciating pain. Do you know for that moment that we were engaged in that act, the pain was, there was no pain. No pain. Can you believe that? 
the pain was so excruciating i had to be literally this it landed me in the emergency room and in emergency surgery but for that moment the pain was not i mean just nothing because it blocks your pain receptors spiritually it happens that way too they are administering mind blocking and mind blinding spirits that totally they totally block your logical receptors and cause you to go further and further and deeper and deeper into perversion that's how it works i wish i was lying to y'all i'm telling you it happened to me i'm telling you it's crazy because sex is the anesthetic that is used by these narcissistic foot soldiers for the demonic kingdom to give you to keep you wrapped up and tied up in demonic soul ties that waste your time that make you sick because they are toxic they make you sick because they are toxic yes they waste your time they frustrate you and this is the whole agenda and you sitting up there dealing with a whole bird you don't even know that this dude is probably sleeping around with 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 the with his same kind you had an idea the one the, the one that i the, the one that i'm talking about that narcissist number one would act just like a woman when he was around, you know, the women in his family would act just like a woman. Talk like him and everything. Act just like him. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And don't you, and I'm going to tell you something. Don't y'all ever think for one minute that the family doesn't know this about that, that, uh, that bird. Oh, the family know. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all, when y'all left that narcissist, some of y'all, when y'all left them, they went full blown in the alternative lifestyle. All of this is because the narcissist, guess what you become? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all want to know what you become? Put a one in the chat if you want to know what you become, because this is ultimately what the Lord wanted me to show. show he wanted me to teach this to you this way. But let me show you what you ultimately become for the narcissist and for the demonic kingdom. Put a one in the chat if you want to know. Y'all ready? OK, I see the ones coming up in the chat. The narcissist literally makes you become a human sacrifice for the demonic kingdom through sex and immorality. What is the number one thing that happens with a sacrifice? Their will is taken. Yes, they want you to be a sacrifice. Listen, you were already worshiping them. We were already worshiping. We was deep in the idolatry with these birds deep into idolatry but they sacrifice you how because they strip you of everything that they could possibly strip you of they pull you completely away from your spiritual grounding from your word from prayer from everything that could help you pull yourself back together spiritually because they want to sacrifice you this is why they go so hard on you because they and the ultimate thing that you could that's right isn't she lovely i love that a sex a sex sacrifice oh i like that look at that right there sex sacrifice there you go there you go right there you already out there in fornication every sin outside of the body listen every sin is outside of the body except fornication fornication is a sin against your own temple come on here somebody that's a sin against your own temple right 
So you literally become a living, you literally become a human sacrifice for them. That's still walking and talking and breathing instead of being a living sacrifice for the kingdom of righteousness. You see how the enemy wants that? The enemy has you through sex becoming a living sacrifice to the kingdom. Oh, this is some, oh, this is revelation. I feel like throwing something right here because God is pouring this revelation out right here. Do you know? And that was, thank you, Holy God. That was a download right there. You literally be uh, through sex, become a living sacrifice and a slave to the demonic. Because of what you have done to your body. Instead of becoming a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. You have allowed your flesh to make you a slave to it. Ah, oh, hey. Jesus, help us, Lord. And they do it without you even raising one question about it. You just go willingly to the slaughter called the bedroom. The bed called a demonic altar. Yes, I said it, a demonic altar where you are committing these atrocities against your soul. Think about it. Think about it. This is why the rumination is so bad. It's because you're not just thinking about what they did to you, but you're thinking about all the things that you did in the relationship that compromised your, your morality, your system of morals and ethics. Yes. Man, I hope they never tell anybody about that. Oh, I hope those pictures never surface on the internet. Oh, I hope they don't ever blackmail me with this or that. Yeah. It's meant to be like that. Because in this whole situation with a narcissist, they 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 completely violate your body. And guess what else happens? Every part of your body that you sin with, a demon can occupy. It. Open the open the every part of your body that you sin with doing the devil's deeds, he can occupy that bad boy. I said that last week. Demon get into your reproductive system, start destroying everything. Some, some demons have destroyed women's reproductive systems to the place that they can't even have children. All because they were out there doing their thing. Let me tell you something. You don't never play with the devil stuff and don't have to pay. Oh, you gonna pay. Trust me, you gonna pay. Nothing is free in the demonic kingdom. You gonna pay. And then to think that these clowns link up with people and they intentionally give people diseases. Wow. Yeah, this is what you're dealing with. So you mean to tell me I'm going to become a sacrifice for someone that hates me, someone that never cared about me, someone that doesn't love themselves and couldn't possibly love me. And I'm going to become a sacrifice to an individual like that. Wake up. Wake up. This is why this message is coming. Society is so sexual. They put, they put it all over the magazines. They put it all on the TV, all over your phones and everything else. They got it everywhere. It's all over the place. The thing that needs to happen is you need to become perverted in it so you can be that slave to your, to your flesh and so you can put yourself out there too, because that's what the enemy is looking for. You do know that, right? Yeah, that's what he's looking for. Y'all continue to like and share on this video. Let me see. Let me make sure my people are hitting that like button. All right. We're doing pretty good. Thank you, Tim. Thank you so much. He said, ex-narcissist brother said he lost his last job because of illness. 
I said, yeah, your boss got sick of you. Told him nothing is impossible. He's been doing nothing, nothing for years. To God be the glory. I'm sure he probably was. <laughs> because that's how they are. Thank you, Tim. God bless you. He said nothing. <laughs> Come on here. And the family knows. Look at how his, the brother was behaving. Yeah. The family knows. So you're going to sacrifice. Or you're going to become a sacrifice for something. Why don't you make it for God? Why don't you close your legs? Get out of the body cast and the traction. You know what I'm saying? Because a narcissist doesn't care about you. The only thing that they care about is what they want. And if that, in, if that let me tell you something. If that involves defiling your soul, and you waking up one day in hellfire, they don't care about that, Dixie. They don't care anything about that. They want, they are on one mission and one mission only. And that is to capture your soul because their master, which is the devil, I said it. Their master, which is the devil, wants your soul. He wants you to be burning in hell just like him. And people say, oh, well, you, well, well, why are you, you know, you, you talk about people like this and that. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about a, a, a particular class and getting down on them. I'm tell, I say what God says. I love what he loves and I don't like what he likes. What he don't like. If I don't like what he doesn't like. If he says that it's a sin, then it's a sin and I don't like it either. Why? Because he's called me to be his messenger and his mouthpiece. So if I see it and I don't say anything about it, then the blood is on my hands. Thank you so much, Otis. My friend is in the house. God bless you, Otis. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to see you in the chat. The blood is on my hands. This is why you can't sit and watch people do things and don't say something to them. Your friends that's dealing with this toxicity, your friends that's dealing with this and that and the third, you gotta say something when they dealing with people like this. Because if you don't say something and you don't teach them the importance, just direct them to this video. Oh, this video is raw and ready. It's raw and ready. You go and get all dressed up, put on your lingerie, you got your heels on, honey. I mean, you don't went to the you don't went to the nail shop and you don't had them to put some extra callus remover on now. I mean, them heels ain't been that smooth since you was a baby. <laughs> Ow! Them heels ain't been that smooth since you was a baby. Ow! You got some extra callus removal. You getting all dressed up for that demonic ritual with a demon. Some of y'all seen them actually transform in the bedroom. Some of y'all seen them do it. Y'all seen them shape shift in the bedroom. Yes, you did. You looked into the eyes of that demon and saw complete blackness. Thank you so much, Louise. God bless you for that generous super sticker, sis. Thank you. Yeah. Go get you some extra callus remover. You get that scrub. Go get to go to Walmart and go to that scrub section. And you get that sea salt scrub, the smelling and everything. Boy, you scrubbing every dead skin off. I mean, your skin ain't been that smooth. Your heels ain't been that smooth <laughs> since you came into the world. Okay. All of that. So you could go and pr go go to the altar on your bed. Some of y'all didn't even make it to the bed. Some of y'all was on a wall, a table. Or some, some of you was in a car. You know? Yeah. Narcissists don't care. Some of y'all might have been up in some trees. Well, let's, it's a tree up here. You know, <laughs> hop in the tree. Hope it ain't no, no, other, no other bird nest up in there. <laughs> These birds don't care. Trees is they home. They know what they know what happened. You know, they know what time it is. 
That's why the narcissists tell you they want your they want your soul. They're not lying. They honest about it. It's what they want. Are you going to give it to them? Cuz see you can give it to them willingly or unwillingly. You know? That's what it is. But see, a lot of you don't understand. You, you don't know what's happening because you, you sit now and you think, well, you know, surely they couldn't do that. Yes, they could. Yeah, they could do it. They working for the enemy. Thank you so much, Patrice. I see you, Marilyn and Tamara Bell. Thank you, Tamara. And isn't she lovely? God bless you all. Thank you so much for those uh, blessings. I appreciate you all for sewing into this stream. Thank you so much. Yes. This is what you're dealing with. So when you ignore your spiritual health, when you fail to allow God to heal those broken places in your soul, this is where you will find yourself. Dressing up and causing your whole bedroom to become a, a place where you perform a, a, a literal ritual. And then you complain because you get stuff coming to you in the, in, in the middle of the night after you done got through with this bird and you tried, you done tried to put this, this bird on a uh, foot notice. Okay. You done sent them running and, and, and you got entities visiting you in the night. That's because you done been involved in some, in some, in some, some ritualistic practices, either knowingly or unknowingly. And they trying to come and get some of you at night too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the way that works. I told y'all narcissists travel deep with spirit spouses. And see, when you lock up with them in the spirit, this is why you got to learn how to divorce things in the spirit. You, you, you decree and declare, I divorce everything that has to, it has attached itself to me spiritually in the name of Jesus, but you can't just divorce it and not forsake the behavior. You got to forsake the behavior too. You understand what I'm saying? This is real. It is a battle for your soul in the heavenlies. Y'all watch me. I'm going to tell y'all, watch this. All of these pronouns is getting ready to go out the window. Watch. They going to make it one big thing. These are persons that are gender fluid. And this is the new title that we call them. And this is what you're supposed to respect about them. Because see, all of these titles are confusing. People don't understand all that. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody understanding that. Uh-uh. Yeah. There ain't nobody, uh, nobody is trying to keep up with all of these different pronouns and, you know, inviting everyone into that confusion. I'm telling you, this is divine revelation. Listen, whenever a prophet is sent into the region that comes with a word, I'm going to give it to you straight. Sometimes it's brash and it's harsh, but it's necessary. Do I worry? Absolutely not, because my angels are here right now. Show sure are. They don't leave. They don't leave. You think I could come up with this type of revelation on my own? I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart to, to know spiritual things like that. I'm a very intelligent woman, let's be clear. But when it comes to spiritual things there, I can't do this on my own. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. I have divine assistance. I will tell anybody that God gets the glory for all of my story. All of it. It is it is not even me on display. This is God himself. He loves us so much that he comes to give you a word to let you know, to hold yourself in sacred regard. Hold yourself in sacred regard because the time is drawing nigh for him to return. Don't be caught without oil in your lamp. Don't let a narcissist come and pervert your soul and take you to hell and you go with the feeling of, of, of you just on this cloud because sex is your drug. You are, you are codependent so much so on people that you can't even serve the God that created you, that can fix you. You won't take a Bentley or a Rolls Royce to a, to a, a, a shade tree mechanic. Why are you taking yourself to a, ooh. 
Why are you taking yourself to a narcissist? You don't think that you are Bentley or, or, or Rolls Royce material? You can't even value who you are. Let's go on ahead and take it up a notch. We some whole Bugattis around here. When you want to do it in comparison, we some whole Bugattis. You ain't going to take a Bugatti into a, trade, uh, a shade tree mechanic. Something go wrong with that Bugatti. You taking it back to the maker. That's what God is saying to you tonight. Take it back. He said, bring it back to him. He wants to make you whole. He wants to fulfill those holes in your soul that kept you running back to your flesh. Wanting to fulfill the flesh because you felt empty inside. You are not a narcissist. You are not a narcissist. Thank you so much, Cluster B Free Karen. She says, mahalo for teaching the bedroom curtains off <laughs> about these nasty narcissists. Come on. It's the truth. They walking around looking at other men, a, a man passed by that they think is hot. You think you sitting there walking, you holding hands, walking down the street with you, what you think is your man. And he ain't turning back looking at that woman. Uh-uh. He looking at that man that just passed by. And they always say, and, and I'm going to tell you, they have the male narcissists, they have what they call a, a, a gay phobia. Most of them. Yeah, that's what they do. They, they will tell you how much they hate them. But what it is, is they hate them because those men are honest about who they are. That's what it is. They're being honest about who they are. And that narcissist can't be honest about who they are for fear of, of, of backlash. I said it. They really want that dude over there. That's why they running up into these men's face, in the other brother's faces, having so many conversations. Watch this. Y'all done seen this before. They sitting in a restaurant. A man walked through the door at the restaurant. They look up at the man, lock eyes with him to see what type of look the man is going to give them. A man, man, don't even care about the dude. They don't care. A man's man don't even care about the dude. Or if they, if they look up, if they look up, they'll just, you know, what's up? Like, you know, whatever, if they happen to look up. But when men are dealing with uh, sexual perversion and their own sexuality is in question and they battling that thing, they want to always look up and lock eyes with another man to see what type of look that man is gonna give them because they always searching for new supply. I'm giving it to y'all raw and ready. You better pay attention. You better pay attention. Pay attention. Holy Spirit is there to be your teacher and your guide. Use it. Use it. Use it. Don't allow yourself don't allow yourself to be taken by your flesh into the bowels of hell and what, what would be considered the care of a narcissist to be your God and present yourself a living sacrifice to the enemy because you are a slave to your flesh. The devil is a liar. He's a liar. He's a lying wonder. Come out of the fornication. Stop it. Come out of it. Shut it down. If you're single, be celibate. Let the Lord heal you. Because the devil sure ain't going to heal you. The only thing he going to do is make you more broken. To be out there more susceptible to a narcissist. Uh, get administering more and more sexually transmitted demons into your body on top of that broken, frustrated, faulty, fragmented foundation that a lot of your, uh, that a lot of your, uh, uh, upbringing gave you. No, we got to talk about this kind of stuff because if you understand what you are doing to your body and what you are doing to your soul, then maybe you will rethink what you're doing. And don't let sex be your anesthetic to your pain. 
It always hurts worse to properly heal, but it's the only thing that will get you completely healed because anything else is going to keep the infection inside of that wound. In order to get that, in order to properly heal that cut, scrape, scar, bed sore or whatever, that infection has to be cleaned out of there. It's the only way that you're going to properly heal. Anything else is going to cause more in, infection and going to inflict potentially more pain upon you. Your soul is value. It's very valuable. It's very valuable to the enemy. But is it valuable to you? Is the question. Is it valuable to you? Is it worth risking it in a bedroom with somebody that you barely even know? Because you so in pain that you feel like you need an anesthetic of mind blocking and mind blinding spirits to infiltrate your soul and cause you to be perverted in ways that you never even understood and will take you years of deliverance to come out of. Is it worth it? Is it? Is it really worth it? Or is it better to go through the transformation and work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling? Because let's be clear, the Bible says that we are to work out our salvation. What needs to be saved? Your spirit goes back to God. The body goes to the ground. Your soul is what's judged. So that is what needs to be saved. So is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah, you got to think about these things. Wouldn't you rather make yourself a living sacrifice by the transforming power of the Holy Ghost? I pray that every last one of you that are listening to this live stream and those that will be listening on the replay would be filled with the Holy Ghost. Not just having the Holy Ghost, not just having Holy Spirit by becoming saved and accepting Christ, but be baptized with the fire because that's what gives you the power to live right. That's what gives you the power to think right. That's what gives you the power to keep yourself the power to present your body, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. I've been celibate for years. Love it. The power to keep your hands off of your private areas because you don't have a man masturbating. That's a gate. Holy Spirit gives you the power to supersede and to come out of this. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it on your own. There's no way that you can battle this flesh on your own. It's too powerful. And your emotions work right along with your flesh because your emotions cause your flesh to, to release chemicals in your brain that become, ad become addictive. You can't fight this thing on your own. That's why the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Where's the mind located? In the soul. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Come on. Then the word goes on to say to prove that, to prove what is that good, that perfect and acceptable will of God. See, a living sacrifice in the kingdom of righteousness. See, this is why when Hollywood came knocking, you can't buy me. You don't have to worry about trying to manipulate me with money. You can't buy me because I'm already dead. My soul has already been given up as a living sacrifice in the kingdom of righteousness to do whatever he commands me to do. Whatever he tells me to say, I say it. Whatever he tells me to do, I do it. 
That is the sacrifice of a servant that is called to be his mouthpiece. Is it a, is it a price to pay? Absolutely. But the rewards are great. There's great provision. There is great everything. Because what you will find is that when you decide to do this thing different, you don't have to worry about provision. You don't have to worry about the, the way that God is going to bless you and heal you and take you to higher dimensions in him. Because that's automatic. That's going to come. The more you seek him, the more he'll reward you. That's why I said I'm a rewarder. He said, I, he said he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Seek him. Seek him. Not other people's body parts. To mask your pain. To pacify the indifferences and the indiscretions that, that have happened in your life. Thank you so much, Kaya. God bless you. Thank you so much for that generous super sticker. Thank you, sis. You have to, you got to get tired, family. You got to get tired. And you have to know that God doesn't send a warning like this for, for listen, he don't ever warn us without reason. There's always a reason for a warning. Let this serve as your warning. Some of y'all was up in here thinking about going back to the narcissist. Who is that? Somebody was up in here, got hoovered and was thinking about going back to the narcissist. Be honest. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Be honest. Who got hoovered and was thinking about going back? Somebody. Look, that go Taylor Fox. She put a one in the chat. Okay, she being honest. Yeah, this is a warning. This is a warning. It's some more y'all up in here. Y'all don't want to be honest about it. Oh, there, there you go. Desi does. There you go. They, they being honest about it. She look at her. Hoover today. The Holy Ghost just gave me that. Just gave me that. He said, some of them up in here. Look, Dazzy said right here, said me. He said, some of them up in here. Where he, the Holy Ghost just told me, he said, some of them was, he said, some of them in here today, they were thinking about going back. They just got Hoover and they were thinking about going back. Yeah. And y'all know I don't pop a question like that just arbitrarily. If he tell me, if he, if he say, say it and ask the question, I'm going to ask it. So now you got your answer. So that's a, it, and let me tell you something about God. God is so powerful and he's so loving and he's so kind. He will send a message like this only for one person. If it, it it'll benefit a whole bunch of folks, but one person might've been getting ready to get messed up completely. And, um, and he'll send a message like that. Let's look, look right here. Look right here. Bless her heart. Belle Pink, she said, me, I'm pregnant. Look at that. Telling you. This ain't no, I'm going to tell you something. This ain't no life of glitz and glamour when you call to do what it would, to say what he say. Profit of the life of a prophet is not a life of glitz and glamour. Let me tell you that right now. You got to say a whole lot of uncomfortable things. And the battle on your mind is ridiculous. Y'all, sometimes I be up in here because the mind is always open. You got to always be ready to hear from him. You know? And he's always talking. And so the prayer life has to be on point. You can't get words like this when you don't, when you don't open yourself to becoming a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's not worth it. Don't go back. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. Don't go back. God sent this word for you all tonight. Because he needed to make it clear what you were de you were dealing with. Bell, God is going to help you. He's going to keep you. Hey, Donna Hale. And he's going to he's going to be a provider for you and that for you and your little one that's coming. OK, but you got to make a commitment to give your life to him. You got to make a commitment to give your life to him. Look at Sakina. She said she went back. 
Yeah, she went back. Listen, y'all, I love you all. And that's why I do what I do, because I want you all to understand. Thank you so much, Joe. God bless you. God bless you. That is such a blessing to me. Thank you. Shantara, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Shantara. Everybody that is uh, sewing into this stream, God bless you. I hope that it blessed your soul. Those of you on Facebook, y'all share this message. Share this message. Sex is a huge ritual. Beyonce has a, uh, st a stage prop on her stage right now that she's taken from city to city where it's two legs uh, uh, up in the air, look like somebody in, in a position getting ready to have sex. And then the cameras go down into between her legs like it's a tunnel. What that is is a portal. It lets you know that sex is a portal. And that's what she's promoting in her concert sexual perversion, homosexuality, and all other types of, of, of horrible demonic agendas are wrapped up in that ritual. Wake up. Wake up, family. Wake up. You need the Holy Spirit to completely envelop you. Okay? Okay. You need the Holy Spirit to completely envelop you. You need him to govern every aspect of who you are because this flesh is too much. It's too much. And guess what? Your emotions, which is where the narcissist engages you first, Carol M. Your emotions are so powerful. I want to I want to leave you with this thought. Listen, listen. Your emo, and this is what God shared with me. And I got to tell you this, your emotions are so powerful that they can override your logic and control your will. There it is. So powerful. They can override your logic and, and ultimately control your will. Remember that. Master your emotions, heal the right way. You can't heal through another, <clears throat> you can't heal through another person. The only way that you can heal is that you have to go back to the manufacturer. Who is the manufacturer? Adonai, Elohim himself. You got to go back to him. That's the only way you can heal. Anything other, anything other than that, is going to pervert your soul. Remember that. And the enemy wants you to have soul perversion because he wants to be able to claim your soul at the end of your life. Don't give it to him. Don't let your flesh be your God. All right? So we're praying. Father, I thank you so much. Thank you so much for this time of reflection. Father, I thank you that you are here with us. Father, I thank you that you hear our prayer. Father, I thank you for your ministering spirits. Father, I thank you for your divine assistance in this message, Father, that you would care enough about us as your children to bring us a message that's so relevant, so raw, but yet so loving. Father, I thank you that you care enough to share with us what is happening spiritually. Father, I thank you that every person that is listening to this message, oh God, Lord, that their minds will begin to change, oh God. Father, I thank you that no weapon formed against their minds, their bodies will be able to prosper. And Father, we want to praise you in the gates. God, thank you. We give you all the glory and all the praise for those that have walked away from these relationships. Father, that you have calmed their ruminating mind. Father, that you have restored their finances. 
finances, God. I praise you. We give you the glory, God, because we understand that our praise is a weapon. Father, we praise you for this message, oh God. Father, we praise you for your mighty acts. Father, we praise you that we woke up in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health, God. And not only that, Lord, you as we laid down last night and we slept, as your word says, I wait and the Lord sustain me. God, you sustained us as we slept and we slumbered all night long, Father, that we didn't slip off into eternity. One more day you gave us, hey God, to glorify you and magnify you, Lord. God, we give you the glory. Oh, we praise you. You said to enter into your courts. You said to enter into the uh, to the gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And so, Father, we are praising you. We are lifting you high, God. Let every one of us be set aside as you be glorified. Lord, let the greater begin to rise up in us as the, as the enemy comes in like a flood. Father, you said that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Father, we right now in the name of Jesus, Father, we stand in solidarity against every opposing force that is fighting against the minds of the people of God and the minds of humanity, trying to pull us off into perverted lifestyles and to perverted ways of living and to pervert our view of who you are and who you created us to be. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, you are perfect. You are upright. You are righteous, Father. You never made one mistake. And that includes us. Confusion never befalled, it never befell you, oh God. You were not confused about who you created us to be. And so, Father, we knock down every lie of confusion that the enemy has fed to the people, telling them that they are this and they are that and, and alluding to the fact that you were confused when you created us. Father, everything that you created was perfect and it was good. So, Father, we lift you high tonight that you will get the glory out of every one of our stories, God. And we will tell everybody that you did it, Lord, that you will begin to download divine revelation upon the seed that has been planted into this live stream tonight. Father, it's for us to, pl to plant the seed, but it's for you to give the increase. Water that seed with your word word. Father, let us desire to be baptized with the Holy Ghost as we, as we move forward and press towards this Pentecost Sunday that some will be celebrating God. Let them go in the fire of the living God. But God, we know that you can do things by force, by force fire, by force, by fire. I knock down the spirit of fornication. Every one of the, in this live stream and that will watch in, in the replay. God, I come against that spirit of fornication, the spirit of adultery and every is sexual immoral spirit. I come against it by the forces of heaven. We stand in solidarity, opposing those forces and opposing those altars. We knock down generational curses that have included those things in their altars. In the name of Jesus, God, let you be glorified. Let the testimonies come forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you that there will be no more visitations in the night, God. Lord, as they begin to seal themselves off from perversion by allowing your Holy Spirit to envelop them, God, and they accept the fire baptism of the Holy Ghost, that every spirit spouse, we disconnect them from everything.
every generational curse. We divorce them from every spirit spouse. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you for going deep into the bloodline, for revealing in prayer to the people of God, the altars that they are to come against God. We disconnect every alternative lifestyle that the enemy has tried to put in their minds through the anesthetic of perverted sex. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you that the angels are disconnecting them from the altars right now. They're disconnecting them from these demonic altars that they have created. God, let them feel the fire of your Holy Ghost right now. Lord, let it begin to fall on them from the top of their heads, God, to the soles of their feet. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Begin to envelop them in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. God, we thank you that the forces of the, the angelic forces are are standing with us and we are battling in the heavenlies against the opposing forces and we are prevailing right now in the name of Jesus. We knock down every ancestral spirit in the name of Jesus. God, we release the angelic forces against every demonic ley line that, is, that has held them trapped and bound. We loose the captive tonight. Mm. God, let every captive be set free on tonight. Let every captive be set free on tonight, God. Let your word begin to saturate and permeate their souls, God. Give them a hunger and a thirst after righteousness, God. We shut down the first and second heavens, God, that will prevent any prevailing prayer from reaching you. You said that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. Testimony upon testimony upon testimony shall come out of this in the mighty name of Jesus. I release celibacy in this stream tonight. Oh God, I release celibacy. Oh God. Thank you, Adonai. Oh, that the angels will visit them. That the Holy Spirit, the power of the living God, will give them the power to resist the devil and he will flee. We shut down the four corners of our homes, God. Father, we thank you that your angels are encamped around about those that fear you. Father, we thank you for the reverential fear of the most high God, Adonai, Yahweh, Yahweh. Father, we thank you. Abba, we thank you. We give you glory, Lord, that after tonight, we will change the trajectory of our families, oh God, that we will be the Moses that will lead our families out. We will be and we are the generational curse breakers as we change our method of operation to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, O God, which is our reasonable service, not to the narcissist, not to the kingdom of darkness, but to you, O God, which is our reasonable service. Father, we thank you because we realize that the frailty of humanity is is too the the frailty is just too much to battle against an enemy that is ancient but god your power is prevailing and it's more than enough if we take on the mind of christ so father think through our minds speak through our mouths live in our hearts God, we ask that you would minister to our families. Lord, help us to live the life before our children that will cause them to even cry out to the spirit of the living God. Every spirit of anger, every spirit of frustration, every spirit of abandonment, every spirit of, of feeling like they have been left out and left behind, every, every spirit of being an orphan, 
are, are, are ostracized from their family. Every tormenting spirit. Father, we shut down their operations right now. We cancel the assignment of the enemy over the people of God, their lives on tonight. And Father, we institute the mind of Christ and the power and the transforming power of your word and your spirit. For it's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Father, show up and be present. Let them have encounters with you tonight and from now on. Because, Father, we realize that when we have an encounter and an experience with you, that we will no longer be the same. And so, Father, we thank you for your divine provision as we move into the realm of obedience that you will heal the bodies that the enemy has made sick through this demonic portal of fornication and sexual immorality, that their, their sicknesses and their diseases will be miraculously healed. You did it for me, Lord. You will do it for them. And so, Father, let my testimony stand before you in heaven. And Lord, let the people of God remember that if you did it for one, you will do it for them. So Father, I thank you that they don't have to suffer anymore. All we need to do is be obedient because you said that if we be willing and obedient, that we can eat the good of the land. You said that you were wounded for our transgressions, that you were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you and by his stripes, we are healed. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you. They are, of, they are good and to give us an expected end. They are good thoughts and not of evil to give us an expected end. We hold on to your promises tonight. We hold on to your principles. We hold on to your prophecies. God, you are the God of all creation. You are our father. And so we lay it all in your hands tonight. We trust you. We love you. Lord, as you go with us through the furtherance of this weekend, help us, Father, to do the will of you that has sent us. Lord, reveal our purpose and our destinies as we go into the place of healing and restoration. Father, begin to speak revelation upon revelation upon revelation in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. Father, we shut down every demonic port that has caused the people of God to be in these situations. We close up every door in the mighty name of Jesus as you pour out your spirit upon us. We receive tonight. In the mighty, powerful name of Jesus, let your Holy Ghost fire fall on your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. 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 Y'all, I feel good in the city of my soul. I feel good in the city of my soul. Y'all, I want to thank you so, so much tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. And Facebook, thank you all for liking and sharing. YouTube, thank you for sharing. And thank you for liking this video as well. Y'all don't forget to um, share this uh, live stream with some people that can use it. All right. Uh, I'm going to say good night to our Facebook family. I love you all. Good night, everyone. I love you. Good night, Facebook. All right. YouTube, good night. Good night, you all. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you for hanging in here with me. I wish I could just hug you all, but I just blow you all some kisses and say thank you. I love you, I love you. And it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. 
Amen. It's going to be all right. God has made it all right. So all we got to do is step into his divine provision. Amen. So I love you all. Thank you for everyone that has uh, sown into this stream and may God continue to make you to be a blessing. Amen. And to have more than enough. God bless you. And I will see you all on the next video, family. And I'll see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone.